What's up, Internet? We are here after a very lengthy pairing process, I guess. Controllers are weird for this thing. Um, we are here with The World Ends With You Final Remix to figure out what this game is specifically. Now, this is the second remake of a Square Enix title I've played this year, which horrifies me, knowing how excellent Secret of Mana went. And like that game, I think before we get into this, we need some context, because this is, like Secret of Mana, one of my favorite games of all time. Well, the original was anyway. I'm, again, horrified about what this could potentially be. Um, see, this game, as, as weird as it sounds, kind of changed my life in a lot of ways. The protagonist, the redhead over there, Neku, he's basically the video game equivalent of me. Or at least me relative to when I played this game originally. And yes, he's basically a generic angsty teen back when, you know, weren't we all. But at the same time, he's an antisocial guy who's been sort of thrown through the ringer and betrayed by everyone. And he has a lot of issues trying to deal with people, as I did, you know, and still do to this day. But, you know, the opening to this game, or at least the original, again, I don't know what they've changed, but... It was him walking down the street talking about how he hated being surrounded by all these loud, noisy people, and that was the exact 15 minutes prior to me owning the original game. I was... I don't want to say abandoned, because that doesn't quite sound right, but I can't think of a better word. I was on vacation with my family, and I was kind of abandoned in a part of town, and I had to find a way to walk back to uh, our hotel room. And I found a GameStop that had this game, and I was lucky, because I've been wanting to play this. But... I... As I was walking, I was just surrounded by so many loud people who were just in the way and slowing me down, and I just hated it. And when I finally got back to our hotel room, I played this, and the opening cutscene weirded me out in such a weird way, because it was like someone animated the past 15 minutes of my life. It was like, honestly, I thought I was on one of those really shitty prank shows for a minute, like someone was just punking me or whatever. But, you know, I, I even looked like the kid. If you gave me incredible amounts of hair gel, I could probably spike it like that. I was wearing a stupid, uh, weird-looking tank top like he's wearing. I had purple headphones. This kid is basically me. And it's more than just the opening and how the character looks. Every single interaction he made and everything he said during the entirety of the game was sort of what I was thinking. And as he, spoilers, ends up learning to trust people over again, you know, I, I think I sort of did as well. And it sort of allowed me to try and develop better as a person. So, this game is very, uh, again, the original anyway, and we're gonna resync again because this thing's a stupid piece of shit. Uh, I think I actually only need one Joy-Con, which is nice. Um, but my point is, you know, this game is very special to me, or the original was, and because of that, if this game goes wrong, it's gonna go wrong real bad for me. But uh, let's see what this game is all about. Alright, uh, Joy-Con, tabletop mode, no thanks. Uh, we'll do TV mode, I guess. That doesn't sound scary at all. Handheld mode. Can I just use the stupid, uh, shell controller thing, please? Let's see if we can, because that's just how I naturally play with the Switch. Okay, well, I've got them synced, so I, I guess we did. Yep. I'm... oh, okay. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so basically, I, I'm holding it in the controller format, and it's acting like a cursor, so I'm guessing that's how they're gonna do stylus-based stuff. I'm gonna have to, uh, resync this, I think, because it's got my controllers messed up. No, I want that to be number two. Why is this so hard? God damn it. <laughs> No, let's try this again, little controller. I want you to desync. How do I do that? Such a pain in the ass. This should not be as hard as it is. I, I will just admit that right now. Uh, all right, well, I guess we're gonna go with, oh, here, here we go, awesome. Okay, let's try this again. And see if we can do this with the controller. Joy-Con controls let you move on screen by tilting the Joy-Con. That sounds scary. Uh, point at center of screen, press Y to reset pointer. Okay. Touch controls, no. 
I'm not touching it. Like, I hate touch screens. Beyond all reason, I hate touch screens because it's so easy to scratch them. Out of my face. You're blocking my view. Very, very stylish game. Shut up. Stop talking. Just go the hell away. All the world needs is me. I got my values. So you can keep yours, all right? I don't get people. Never have, never will. This game also really likes to press style and uh, <laughs> graffiti art and stuff like that, which is cool. This game and Jet Set Radio is how I really got into graffiti art. I really dig that sort of look. It's very, I don't want to say non-conformative, but it's very, very varied in its appearances and stuff. And like Jet Set Radio, a lot of this takes place in Shibuya. <gasps> also, this game has a fantastic soundtrack, I should probably mention. Yes, you've got a magical button that makes you uh, psychic. It's awesome. And reading people's minds is valuable. You can use it to influence people's thoughts and uh, change how things work. It sounds like they've remixed the soundtrack a little. I know this because I have like three versions of the original game soundtrack on my iPod. <laughs> Okay, so tap the pin. And then we can read minds and stuff. It's all really, like, weirdly, like, like the uh, characters look really blurry and stuff. Yes, but you can read minds with your awesome button of stylishness. Yes. It's magic, and stuff, and things. Yes, it's your phone. Also, this was before touchscreens and stuff. Yeah, it's not as much spam as we'd like to think it's spam. <laughs> yes, it is the junk mail from hell. And here things start getting a little bit awkward. Also, this was basically prototype uh, Devil Survivor, by the way. Except it did it better. In fact, I bought Devil Survivor because I like this game, but I just huh? could not stand Devil Survivor. <laughs> yes, frogs attack people. There's other things, too. Because just fighting frogs would kind of suck. Okay, right now you're defenseless. You're going to have to run for it. Okay. Move the pointer while holding R to avoid enemy attacks. Holding down button cause. Okay, she's got to bounce from the huge. Okay, let's try and figure this out. You're good as gone. Run like hell. <laughs> Wide reset. Oh, this is awkward. Okay. Now, it could just be because I'm using, like, the, uh, controller setup thing. Okay. Got the general... We point at the screen to do things, and it's awkward as all hell. Quickly drag Necker to dash. Yes. Escaping from battle. Just pause fight and, uh, say run. Got it. Just like any other RPG, really. This game is also pretty awesome because it was, like, the best DS game. 
because it was the only DS game that I can think of that used every single feature the DS had without any of it being gimmicky or just like a throwaway function, like how half the games on the DS just use the touchscreen to get their menus and stuff. No, this, this game used all the left-hand screen buttons, all the right-hand screen buttons, and um, the touchscreen, the microphone, everything. It was awesome. And again, excellent soundtrack. This is going to take some getting used to, having to use the, um, the uh, pointer controls. This is weird for me. But I'm pretty excited to see what changes they've made in this game. I'm going to have to apologize for any like sound effects or anything. I, I'm drinking a Sprite right now because I'm not feeling too well. And I've been told the bubbles will make me feel better. Tetsuya Nomura with his hit or miss character designs with too many belts. <sighs> this is a new song. Anyway, these guys are Reapers, they're kind of the villains of the game. And their job is basically to make our lives a living hell. Well, lives, kind of. They've tried to smooth out the sprites and stuff, it looks weird. I, I don't think they've been redone entirely or anything. Long dream, love this song. Alright, so we're gonna fight these frogs, who are known as Noise. They're kind of like the minions of the Reapers, so to speak, with this girl who is... Of everyone we're going to interact with, probably the least useful character, and also one of the biggest driving plot points. <laughs> and we're going to be stuck with her for a while. She also likes to carry a piggy doll around with her. Okay, drag the pointer across the screen and hold down the psych button. Psych button is ZR. Okay. So let's try this. Burn. So weapons in this game are basically the pins. There are, I want to say like 300 or something stupid like that. There's a lot of them. And they are all very cool looking. And what's interesting, again, assuming this is like the DS version, they sort of end up evolving over time. Like, uh, through use or... Um, through contact with other players of the game using the DS, like, Street Pass function or, like, whatever that was. Again, it's gonna be a little bit weird for the Switch. I don't think they've got, like, an online equivalent. They probably just retooled those bits. But, nah, this character, Shiki, she's way better than Kairi. She fights with a psychic piggy doll. I gotta say, this remix soundtrack's a little weird. It's not bad, but it's it's a little bit strange. Cause I I, re I really am like so ingrained in the original soundtrack. I've got all three soundtracks on my uh, iPod. So to hear slightly like remixed ones is a little weird. I call this whack, cause we're so hip and fresh, and jiggy with it and whatnot. Yes, we want to run away from this girl as fast as possible because she's crazy, except she's not. Protagonist man guy Neku is just not very bright. But he is stylish. 
and that's the important thing. Tilt the stick? Are you serious? Ha! I've got tilt stick functionality, finally. Can I use my other one? No, nope, I'm stuck with one Joy-Con. That's kind of... That's annoying. It's kind of weird. It feels like you... And maybe it's just because I'm more used to playing like with the Wii most recently because it's something I'm reviewing, but I'm used to holding like something like this uh, horizontally, whereas this is making you hold it vertically while still controlling it using the stick. It's It feels a little strange given the size of like the Switch controller. And it doesn't seem to want to let me use like the left Joy-Con just for control stick function, which is a little weird. Yes, our character, he's basically a complete ponce. He's, he's Captain Edgy, brooding teenager, but to be fair, he was basically me when I was an edgy, brooding teenager who had no friends. So you know what? I will give him a pass on this. I will not give a pass on Haseo, who is basically the same character and is arguably even closer to me, but he's just irredeemably annoying. Neku at least has character growth of some description. Yeah, so basically, this game plays out over the course of... Nah, this character's way better than Roxas. Um, he's got style, for one thing, but... Uh, and I can relate to him. But more importantly, uh, this game takes place over the series of a week, and then later more weeks as the game gets extended. And basically, every day we're given uh, various missions to complete in order to survive the Reaper's game, and should we fail, we die. Well, it's, it's the Reaper's game. Spoilers, we're already dead. Cute name. Shut up. <laughs> I remember that, too. I, I remember most of the lines from this game. Ah, oh, using my left-handed control. I mean, I'm ambi, but this is a little awkward. So we can't actually go to 10-4 yet. Because there's an invisible wall, and we have to fight some dudes. That's one of, like, the Reaper puppet guys. They're just there to make sure we play by the rules. I don't know how far we're going to play into this. I can pretty much guarantee you we're probably not going to see the first proper boss of this game. Just by virtue of, when I played that on the DS version, I had to go through him, like, 20 times before I beat him. Now, what's interesting about this game... As far as I can see, and it could be just because I'm playing it by virtue of this way, or the fact that it is a port of the iOS version, which I'm 99% sure it is. Uh, as you can see, uh, since we're going straight into a fight, which is quite advantageous to us, unless they changed it, which I don't think they did, but we could be wrong. Oh, no, I was wrong. Okay, so, I guess it was just up to this point, but... As a DS game, it took place over two screens. Top screen would be occupied by your partner, your lower screen would be occupied by Naku. Of course, for the DS version, they can't really do that. Or, uh, for the, uh, iOS version, they couldn't really do that. So they just sort of made your teammate a... just sort of summon, I guess, which is weird. Do a thing. Oh. Ah, come on. Ah, you're doing a thing again. Stop it, you piece of shit controller. Okay. Uh, hold search for this one. Uh, can I turn them off? Ugh, this stupid control setup is so weird. Okay. Uh, I guess we've now used... We're now going to be using my left hand. This is going to be interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, you are seeing me being all ambidextrous and shit. Because I am. <laughs> Obtain partner pin. <laughs> and now it does it again. Okay, I'm throwing this away. Screw it. One controller, let's go. Uh, I'm still not sold on the Switch, honestly. It's got like one good game on it. Okay, partner will keep fighting until the partner gauge runs out. With other pins, you have to wait for reboot before your partner can continue. Got it. I'll 
also awesome soundtrack. I'm going to be saying that a lot, I feel. Also, Shiki Miyazaki, played by Colette Brunel, Heather Hogan herself. Oh, okay, I just have to, like, lock onto it with my, uh, thing and she'll attack with her piggy. Okay, I got it. The soundtrack sounds like it's been extended to match the um, actual CD versions. Because the original DS versions didn't actually have, like, um, super, super long songs. They had slightly cut down versions. Uh, if you alternate hits on the same right here. Okay, so. Hit your enemy with your teammate. Got it. Let's go. It's a big wolf. Okay, let's. kind of weird that I have to basically use the same ability, like I have to tap to get her to attack, but I have to hold down to attack myself. I'm betting it'll work better if I get some like other pins, because not all of them are like simply drag and drop or anything, but this is a, a little bit strange. Also, if you fight well, you get more points and money and stuff. So, it's important to be stylish in fighting. Yes, we have to survive six days of missions or else we die. If we succeed, we get our lives back somehow, even though we're already dead. Because anime game. Alright, so that is the first day. Now, what's interesting about this version is... Uh, it actually has, like, an extra week, apparently. Like, they added an extra chapter at the end of the game, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. I believe we are under an overpass. She is kind of obnoxious, to be fair. You teleported because magic and anime. Get to the cursed sculpture and free it. Okay, done. I already know where I'm going. I hope I remember how the war how uh, Shibu is laid out. That said, I've been playing a lot of Jet Set Radio Future. I should be okay. I don't think you fell asleep so much as you kind of just ceased existing for a little while. Hey. Plot, plot, plot! <laughs> Gotta go find the statue of Hachiko. Here's a Reaper guy we can talk to. What? Oh god! Is it still doing that thing, scanning the other controller? That's bad. You have to recenter. I will do it. There's a wall in our way. We need to stop having a wall in our way. Okay, tap scan to scan people. Okay, there we go. I don't know why that was doing that. Switch controls! It's not ideal. Can't scan him because he's a reaper. Because he's not a human. That's using your big spiky noodle. He is special. So basically, in order to break down walls, we have to fulfill special conditions. Sometimes it's kill all enemies, which is most of the time. Sometimes it's make a specific brand famous in a certain area or something. Because style in this game is a big deal. And you do that by wearing certain brands of clothing and pins, and as you fight with them, they get more popular. 
The nice thing is, as the stuff that you wear gets more popular, you get, like, bigger boosts from them and stuff. The thing is, she doesn't have pins, she just has her psychic piggy doll. She can't use any! In fact, fun note, we're the only people who can use them! Except for one specific occasion. I can think of... Stop doing that. Okay. Uh, we need to access something that'll tell us... Yes, I know what our email says. Uh, plus? Plus, plus? No. B? No. No. Oh, hey. I don't have to tap the thing, I can just press X. That's awesome. Okay, but how do I access my thing? Uh, maybe I have to start a fight first or something. So there should be a menu that lets us access the inventory that would allow us to swap our pins and stuff. Now you can select multiple people, drag them all to you at once, and you fight bigger enemies and you get a better payout if I recall. But this is still tutorializing. Oh no, they just gave me some new stuff. Okay. So let's see. So we got uh, Zappy Lightning and a laser gun. Which basically is just mash the button and you'll do a thing. I, I think the controls could be a lot better. Now granted, there are other controls than this one, but... That requires, you know, messing with your Switch touchscreen thing, and I don't want to do that. Because I don't want to scratch it. I mean, literally, just a couple of weeks ago, I got okay with using my Wii U's touchscreen, because I figure it's not going to matter if I scratch that thing now. Yes. Different pins do different things, people, is, is the point here. And I've got a psychic one that moves things because reasons! So we gotta, like, slash across things. And then we can burn them. And basically there's just a metric crap ton of different pins that all have different effects and upgrades of each other. And the idea is you want to find ones that work well for you auto-recenter because the system is being weird. The funny thing is it's recentering on the left side, whereas I'm pointing it to the right side, so I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, move the pointer quickly across the animated form of slash attack. Got it. You're good as gone. Slash. You kind of have to like tap the uh, ZR button. I want to call it the R2 while you're doing it, which is a little awkward. I mean, it works, but it's. It'd be easier if it would just let you slash with just the pointer. But it seems like it needs to have like a button input to make it work, which is strange. I believe this is a new song. Huh? Yeah, see, that's the thing. It's, it's trying to patch up gameplay cracks from the DS version. Normally, we'd have to fight together in order to actually win. Now we don't. Hooray. Now all the really fun things that were a draw to this game are completely out the window because I phoned. Um. I feel like it would probably work like that if you had, like, uh, someone control the TV and someone control, like, the gamepad, like, as separate screens, maybe, but I think that's pretty weird. I don't like her either, honestly. She's like the least useful teammate you get. Yelling! Oh. No, we're running away from you, crazy girl. Because no one likes you. Alright. Oh, hey, it's these two. Hey, it's our old pal that we're just meeting for the first time. Beat! He's cool. Fun fact, I, I 
got a black uh, toque and tried to uh, like uh, make a cosplay toque of his. It didn't work all that well. I am bad at sewing. <laughs> and it's our old friend Rhyme who we're meeting for the first time. They're partners. And awesome. Jump to all the conclusions, beat. He's always mad, that's the point. Using the phone! Yeah! Pick the pins, that's what I want to do, damn it. That's a good pin, it heals you. The pink haired chick. Who is apparently a cow. Gotta go free a cursed statue. <laughs> Stay alive for seven days by completing missions, not dying, and then you get brought back to life. But now we're realizing, oh, only one person actually has to finish the mission and everyone in the game succeeds, so that's awesome. What about today's mission? It's probably enemies, I'm betting. You know, just, just random thought here, we're gonna have to tutorialize more fighting. No more questions! Because friendly teamwork is best! Hooray for jolly cooperation. Now we're gonna go off on our own, that's our whole thing. Yes, they could be Reapers. That's not enough. I'm now making up the rules like I understand what's actually going on for once. <laughs> Stop being a dick to Rhyme, Neku. Rhyme's awesome. We gotta be Mr. All on our own, Lone Wolf. Other people get in the way. But we're also stuck with this pink haired chick. Alright, now we can finally select our pins and stuff. Okay, reset. I'm gonna have to reset that controller so many times. Okay. Uh, these are the brands that are currently in the top three. This is the worst one, and it gets a attack reduction. So basically, the types of brands that you wear get better as you fight and in turns you get boosts. So next we're gonna order pins, because we want some pins. Cure drink could be useful. Uh, I really like the sword ones, like uh, shockwave, but the problem is, again, controlling it in this uh, way might be awkward. Uh, let's see, attack 28, attack 29. I'll use that one, I think. Okay, uh, back. Uh, items. I don't think we got much in terms of items. My first wallet. Some soundtracks. We'll just leave Twister on there. Can't wear this item. Although it would look pretty amazing if you tried. Yes. Okay. Okay, I believe we have to go this way. Let's overhear this guy because we're ghosties.
Let's not give this man some space. Focus. It sounds almost like this rock statue has problems. Uh, gonna make me fight some guys? Let's fight some guys. Uh. Lift the statue's curse. That's almost relevant to the thing we just scanned that guy's brain for. We have to go fight some ghosties at the statue, that's the point. Oh yay, we can co-op, let's not though. I, I could try like, dual wielding Joy-Cons maybe, but I already tried to do that and it was bad. Also the size of the noise that we select also tends to denote its strength and what type it is. So this one's gonna be a little bit stronger. We're gonna run real quick out of there. Go get him, piggy. Drink a Coke, heal up. Running around you. There we go. Stupid. I gotta say, tracking people on this is a little awkward, yeah. Alright, let's go again. I think I'm gonna swap that uh, lightning pin up for the slash one. I mean, it's, it's not gonna work well, but I'm not using co-op. Go away, game. Oh, and this little line here, this little uh, black bar, that's their experience, which later caused them to evolve, much like Pokemon. Although there's like different experience types and different uh, things we can get, so. There, there's various different uh, approaches to ultimately making your pins evolve. Yeah, slashing pins tend to be really good for taking out enemies in a wide area. There we go. There we go. That's much better. That's the freakiest tattoo you can ever get. A ticking down clock on your hand. Alright, well at least we've got something that kind of works in combat. Yes, stickers are awesome is, is the point. Because style! This guy, he's the boss of the first week. He's the guy I lost to a metric crap ton of times first time I played this game. Um. Alright, well, let's scan. Scanning brains is fun in this game. I remember there was this one character that was just in, like, totally in, uh, like, uh, kanji. It was so weird. And then you get one that was, like, an American guy who was just here clearly trying to, like, smuggle a katana back to the States. It was weird. But, uh, scanning people's brains, if nothing else, it's flavor text. That's pretty enjoyable. No, oh, I want to look at the thing. Do I have to... Pointer controls are not ideal.
Recon! Feed the dog. Take a close look. It's definitely a statue of a dog. Also, that part's the part that's weird. We saw a thing, damn it. I think we have to go talk to someone or something. Focus. Alright. No one's uh we're gonna scan. Let's go this way. Ah, screw pointer controls. Can't go that way. Someone over here we can scan. It has relevant information. Nope. I'm excited to play Skyward Sword at some point, but... Ah, uh, pointer controls. Ah, uh, having to constantly recenter, that sucks. Like, the DS1, it felt basically seamless. It was a little tricky from the start to uh, get used to having to control two characters, one with the stylus, one with the buttons, but it worked pretty seamlessly once you got it down. This just comes across a little weird. Can't go that way. Okay, maybe I just have to point at this thing again. Or talk to her for more things. To unlock things because arbitrary flags. Okay, we're definitely seeing what's wrong. It's this. But it's not letting me do a thing. Pressing all the buttons, except for recenter. That one seems to be doing a thing, but can't talk to her. Can't swipe. Try scanning some stuff, I guess. Weavers. <laughs> Rentals. Souvenir. I think originally that was a sword. There's no enemies around here either, which sucks. I could at least fight something. We know there's something wrong with the statue. I know specifically what's wrong with it. Alright, well, we know there's something wrong. We know where there's something wrong. We just gotta figure out what to do with that information. Uh, it's been so long since I played this game. There we go. That's what we needed. Crazy statue guy comes to the rescue yet again. Alright, let's polish the <laughs> stupid recentering, recalibrating bullshit. Okay, let's polish this stupid thing. Even though we're ghosts, we somehow can polish a statue because reasons. There. It looks like those noise wolves we've been fighting. Oh, holy crap, it's a noise wolf. Who knew? I can three of them. You're good as gone.
It's a button mash fest. Heal up with the coke. There we go. Good work, Piggy. And we got a new pin, so we can start adding new abilities. Listen, stalker. <laughs> pink-haired cow. song I liked originally, but... Come on. The moment I get to... I'm equipping a new pin just so I can add more crap to my arsenal. There we go. Why it's often like centering to the left for some reason. I mean, it's good there's an auto uh, recenter button, but it's annoying that I have to use it every two seconds. Hey, ice blow. That's a good move. Because plot contrivances, we're going to be left alive. Hey, a ticket out. Awesome. Except it's totally not a trap or something. All I have to do is kill my partner. Awesome! She's been nothing but a pain in the ass since I met her. Spy. <laughs> Just spying on us specifically because we're that important.
I feel like we could overdub this with a bunch of really bad Anakin Skywalker lines. <laughs> it would still be less emo and poorly written. You murdered her. You were the chosen one. Run around in the dark for some time because that's fun. <gasps> it's the girl we killed. Because she's a super friendly gal who likes us. You know, ignoring the fact that we tried to murder her. Like, literally two minutes ago. Flashbacks! Even though we've already flashed back twice. It was totally a trap all along. It's not like anyone could have seen that coming, though. Because he's someone more than he lets on. Spoilers. Although that's pretty obvious. And a coma. Don't kill your partner, rule one. This made even more relevance to gameplay if you're playing the DS version, where you had to manually control both player characters in order to make things work properly. Yeah, of course she wants to win. We all do. That's the point. Yes. And now we learn, you know... RPG trope number 84, protagonist is an amnesiac, although there's an important reason for that. Yes, you got lucky, you're now suddenly not dead. Well, extra dead, you are dead, that's the point. She's super protective of her phone.
She's got a secret. That's gonna make it hard to trust her, even though she's our partner and her life is our life at this point. Because plot! Yes, we can set the game to easy now. Here it is. That's a concert stage. out how to get the lights on and stuff. <sighs> Pointer controls. Gotta go find the band tech. He's in a black t-shirt. So he's like 90% of people out there who wear t-shirts. Got it. Oh. Yes, they're a really famous metal band, I guess, or something. You got it. Because we're going to be super friendly friends who help people because we're friends. Alright, sorry about that. Um, just got a phone call from... Uh, my website provider telling me how I'm unsecure and stuff, so, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> but, uh, we gotta go find some lab tech guy to do some lighting stuff. Talk to me. Let's go into a store for style points. Huh? Also, they can see us here because they've got a special sticker in here. That makes us visible for reasons. Don't ask me how walking out and then suddenly turning invisible doesn't freak everyone out, but that's how things are. Good day. Okay, so we can buy clothing now. Uh, your taste is impeccable. So I notice you're browsing and tells you the ability for the ribbon bonnet. Alright, so she can get to boost. Hmm. HP negative, I don't like, though. And then, of course, you've got bravery, which is basically how stylish you are. Basically, you can't walk out just wearing nothing but a Speedo without high bravery, so... Yeah, I have braver, and I think that happens by leveling and uh, wearing stuff you can get. Uh... B -b -b quest. Your taste is impeccable. And then some stuff is locked to quests. Yes, I will buy that. Sure. Bye. Yes, please. I had drag. Oh. This this definitely feels like someone's trying to repurpose an existing DS game. All right. Um. So we need items. Uh, how do we swap to Shiki? There we go. We can wear that. There. Let's go this way. Talk to this guy. Defeat noise. I can do that. Oh. It's blank. <laughs> yes. You grew as a human being by choosing not to murder your teammate. Good job, you. Uh, 
in this car. <laughs> I don't care about anything but me. I just want the cash transferred to my account because it makes me feel all so complete missions to beat the Reapers game. Got it. Reapers, they're the dicks running this game. But they're also the people who might bring us back to life should we actually, you know, succeed. And that's the important thing. Yes, yes, there's a bunch of different types of reapers, we know this. What's your deal? He's a guy who owns a coffee shop. That's his whole deal. <laughs> this sounds like a bad dating profile. Shibuya. It's this place that we are in. Except we're in like a ghost version of it. No more questions! Let me go! Yes, we got a new awesome pin that is going to be great. We have to sync up with our partner in order to use it. <laughs> ah, good old phones. Alright. So, now we're gonna try that new pin, which is gonna be awesome! Let's try the new awesome pin we got. Yes, we're the hopeless ones. And this is where it all goes to hell. Thank you for exclaiming how I feel about this port. <laughs> Alright, let's give it a shot. Basically, this is like the ultimate finishers. Okay, form actions with your power sing over. Once you sync tops 100%, your partner will transform into a large pin. Okay, so this is different than the actual DS version. Interesting. Okay. I guess we'll see how this works. Let's try this out. Okay. Uh. Ah. Nope. There we go. So they added a little minigame to make this more interesting, I guess. Which I'm gonna have to point at a lot more. That's not gonna get awkward at all. Fight the bear monsters! Yes, we did. No, I get it. I get it's awkward, but... Potentially interesting to get damage boosts that weren't in the original game. Okay, should be able to go now. Alright. Stores! That are sketchy. Huh? Can I have some cough drops? No. 
rare cough drops. Yep. Okay. Dandy hat. Generation <laughs> C. This guy owns a store that doesn't sell things. That's a good business model. That's coming from a guy who begs for donations for a living at this point. Hey, it's a guy with a lanyard on his neck who has a black shirt. It's almost like this is the guy we're looking for. Ramen! I want some ramen. I'll take his bowl, please. I, I'm, I'm genuinely hungry right now. Yes, ramen. Draw the seller, the number of tips you can receive increases to two. Interesting. Okay. Thank you. And as you buy things from stores, you become friends with their owners, and then they give you tips, and I think they give you, like, exclusive stuff and stuff, which is really kind of interesting. Okay, now this is weird. So, you can only digest food in... Now, I again, it's been a while since I played the DS one. I'm pretty sure the DS one... You digested food based on how many um, the fights you went through. It wasn't a date type of thing. I, I might be wrong about that. It has been a little while, but I think that's kind of a weird system. What's on his mind? It's not like we have the ability to read people's minds or anything. Well, we totally do. But I guess we're talking to him this time, I guess. He's possessed by a noise. Let's fight it. Okay, uh, first things first, we're gonna go equip the new pin, because I know we can do that. Uh, what do we want? Uh, let's throw on fire. Fire seem to work out well. And they're growing in level, so they're actually getting more effective as we go. Oh, I can eat. I just remembered. I bought ramen for a reason. It's edible. It's edible? It looks delicious. Gain some respect for ramen, Neku. Okay, let's fight this big guy. Okay. Star and star. Star and... That one? There we go. Please. got three times and as you do better you're gonna get a higher drop rate which is cool Two pins. Yes, we gotta go back to eight east. Yes, there's a bunch of different types of noise. There's yellow, there's blue, there's red, there's green. There's ones that are literally piggies. Actually, I think those are exclusively the green ones. But the point is, there's plenty of different enemies. Let's talk to these guys. I found your tech guy. Also, that song in the background is Shibuya. 
I love this song. Fun fact, Nimrod was not actually an insult before Bugs Bunny used it as such. And when Bugs Bunny used it, it was actually a sarcastic thing when he called Elmer Fudd Nimrod. Because Nimrod was actually a, um, I believe a hunting god of great prowess. And now everyone just thinks it's some kind of insult, when in fact it actually isn't. Learning with fury. Rock on. Found the tech, you don't have a fuse. And you need some cough drops. Like, totally rare designer cough drops that guys won't normally sell people. Alright, uh, I need to talk to you again. Okay. Uh, is what's his name in here? Also, we can't scan for enemies in here for some weird reason. I just think that's odd, personally. Also, this guy, in his cloak and top hat, looking very dapper. Can I go through yet? Yes. Speak two of those guys. Alright, let's go. That's not what I wanted to do. That's the wrong button. That's the one I want. Alright, so we need to find two of the, like, long-looking ones. There's one. Can't summon more than one at this point, though. I gotta admit, these controls are, um, not ideal. Still, you know, it's getting a little easier to work with, it's just a little awkward, still. I imagine using the, uh, uh, Switch as a proper touchscreen would probably work, but at the same time, it's one of those things that I just, I do not want to destroy my hardware screens. <laughs> Even though I never really used the, uh, Switch outside of connecting it to my TV. I, I've never seen a reason to use it, like, as a proper handheld. I know my brother does with his a little bit, but... I've, I've just never seen a point to using the Switch as, like, a portable console because it's, like, not remotely portable. Burn! Okay, let's do this. Okay. Where is it? Damn it. those guys let me through. Hooray! <laughs> you taught us this already. Alright. Hey look, it's our old pals Beat and Rhyme. Why, we're not a party. <laughs> Here comes Bones. <laughs> so, you learn memes, you implant them in people's brains, and then you get to figure out what's going on. Huh? Fire call.
Basically, you get certain, like, keywords, you scan people's brains, you insert them into them, and then you sort of figure out plot points because of it. Yes, your little button can do that. Hope you like that beat. I still love you. We'll all die if we don't figure this out, damn it. Um. It's that guy. He's a guy. Alright, so you can imprint memes into people's brains. Blackout has been added. Focus. Hey, it's one of these. We're gonna fight this guy. While we're here. Dancer in the streets. Love this song. This remix, not so much. It's a Briggy! And piggies are basically just giant uh, magnets for money, really. They're pretty hard to find, too. They're not super common, but they're great for uh, getting money. Okay, it's this guy. Okay. Now we're in your mind. Now we're going to imprint Blackout on you. We need to have a press blackout. That's it. <laughs> okay, it doesn't exactly work in all contexts, but come on. We may have also gotten that guy to quit his job. Who knows? There's a blackout. You need a fuse. A fuse you get from a store that won't sell you crits. Because that's how this game works. Okay, so we gotta go talk to a guy on the other side of what's-his-name. Got it. I gotta admit, I, I do quite like the redone character models here. Like, these guys look all pixel- or uh, all blurry and I don't care for that, but uh, Neku looks quite nice. Nice and, like, hand-drawn and stuff. Quite a fan of that. Okay, there's a guy I gotta talk to. This guy. Ramen. We can tell people ramen. Let's tell this guy ramen. Nah, we can't. <laughs> It'd be fun, though. Just randomly make everyone go to that ramen shop. Why not? That guy needs some business. I support small businesses because I am one myself. Alright, uh, let's tell this guy ramen. Maybe he'll remember he needs a fuse. Time to get my noodle on. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I mean, I get that he needs a fuse, but that's because of, you know, arbitrary, you know, design. One is available, therefore we need it, clearly. To the ramen shop! Where we first met him, but he didn't eat ramen. Because he's an idiot. And it was delicious looking ramen. Oh, that looks really good. Just 
Eat the damn ramen, come on! I'm not jealous you get ramen. Not at all. Well, the ramen is delicious. Setting up the stage, and then you ate ramen. There was a blackout. You needed a thing. Okay. I want your cough drops and your fuse. Those are what I need. I have a good reason. There are people who need these things. You dumb shit store seller. You're gonna tell me how you need cough drops, dude? No? Okay. I gotta talk to someone else, I guess. There are people to talk to. There's a door I can't pass. Hey. We can buy stuff. Welcome. Wonderful, sir. Stuff that is way too expensive. Let's not buy this crap. Dragon Couture. Way too expensive. Uh, do, do, do. Not really seeing anything interesting. There's gotta be a guy we can talk to, because he keeps mentioning there's a guy we can talk to. But I mean, I've gone to the store we can't uh, buy things from. Gone to the ramen shop, and this guy seriously needs to eat some ramen. Can't go that way. So clearly, we've been everywhere. I'm gonna fight a thing. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's fight a thing. Bear! And a wolf! Quit running around. Ha! <laughs> there we go. Keep hitting him. Go team. Okay. Uh. Hmm. The guy by the stage. Let's go look by the stage. Are we just missing a very simple piece of the puzzle? Perhaps. Well, we're at the stage. There's a guy. That's not awkward at all. <laughs> he needs a fuse. Hooray, we got the meme for the fuse that we can insert into what's-his-name's uh, brain now. Because brain fuses! They're the best kind. Okay. I, I do quite like how comic book this game looks. Alright, so... Talk to you. You want a fuse, dipshit. Now do I have to go here and see the guy buy the fuse? Yes, I do. He had a good reason for it, I guess. Hooray! We did a good deed as spooky ghost peoples. We got a fuse. Lights are still off! Do 
I have to find that other guy who was mysteriously in the corner for some reason? This guy. Fight a thing. Watch yourself. Oh, you know comes. Hmm. Oh, now this is actually closer to like the proper DS version. This would be playing on a second screen, and it would be awesome. There we go, now we can actually fight this guy. So, there's at least a little bit of puzzle solving to this now. I don't remember this being in the original. This is actually pretty clever. I need that drink. Uh, I'm just gonna keep running away now, because we can't do anything. Or does she have to, like, successfully fight the thing enough to... Okay. I see how that works. It's a little weird, but... Kind of works. Let's go. Uppercut to the upper stage. Yeah. It's all you. Rock. Yeah. I, I gotta admit, this game comes across as it's really awkward, but at the same time, there is an enjoyableness to it. And it could be done just nostalgic for the original, but it, it's not horrible. Wires. Now that I've got the uh, team button, I can go fight the enemy with that and get a huge damage boost. Alright, let's go. Plus, plus. Star, star. Plus, plus. Where is it? Okay, there we go. Come on, do some damage. I will admit this fight was a lot more straightforward in the DS version. I kind of appreciate how um, interesting this fight is, though. Come on. Just hit the ones attacking the cables. Let's go. Music didn't loop properly. Done. 
That's how that is done. <gasps> we didn't actually get it done. Oh no. Hey, it's our old pals beating rhymes, saving the day. That's how we do. I, I like that the final boss of this area was just a little tiny crappy bat when we killed this giant monster of a bat. It's like, yeah, that's fair. That makes sense. Need to leave. The giant bat wasn't the goal, apparently, at all. Yeah, I was too busy imprinting ramen in people's brains to gather clues. You need to have a focus, and you need to, you know, pick your priorities, and I clearly had the right priorities. Also, Because <laughs> he's a reaper. <laughs> no kidding. Only the Reapers can see you unless they've got like one of those special stickers slapped to their foreheads, I guess, possibly. That, they never actually explain their stickers or how they work. Or if they'd work on individual people if you slapped them to them. Yes, you no longer get to exist. Which is why we need to win. We'll make it rhyme. <laughs> Go team! Team friendship! <laughs> They're not my enemies, as well as I know. They could possibly be spies, though. I mean, clearly that other person planted the seed of spy suspicion in your brain. They could all be spies! You could be the only real person in this world. And that's why you need to be paranoid about everything, apparently. Yes, and now we get some uh, background information about peoples. That we won't see for a long, 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 long time. <laughs> and that is the end of the third day. Um, and in this time, I think we have discovered that this is kind of a remake of the iOS version, kind of its own unique thing. And it... If you like the original, you might enjoy this. The biggest issue, however, is the controls. They just seem kind of weird and tough to get used to. Now, granted, the DS1 wasn't exactly the easiest thing to pick up on from the start, but, you know, it worked for what it was, and it was a game that utilized all the DS's features. And they eventually had to port it to the iOS, which, I mean, it doesn't even have two screens, so they had to make it work with one player. And, again... In that regard, I think it kind of misses the point of what made the original so special and amazing. Don't get me wrong, it works, and once you get past the fact that it's basically just button mashing the RZ button, it's okay. But do I recommend this as a replacement for the DS version? Not really, but it is an interesting other version, and I mean, if this interests you enough that you want to get a Switch, I mean, I guess it's another reason to own a Switch. 
but um, I hope you have enjoyed this as we look on at some lady and the awesome masked freak. You'll, you'll figure it out if you play this game. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, feel free to give the Twitch channel a follow, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if you want to be real extra nice to me, maybe support my Patreon so you can get onto the supporters Discord, and we can complain about how this kind of misses the entire point of the DS version, but it's interesting in its own right. Or, you know, don't. But either way, I'll see you next time. Peace out, Internet.